Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Local the Global with Europa FC on FM22. We're continuing our European qualification campaign. Last time we went out in a uh, actually quite close fought tie against the Greek champions Olympiakos. We're into the Europa League and we now have the champions of Ireland, Bohemians. So we've got an opportunity to perhaps get into a group stage in Europe this season. If we win one of our next two ties in Europe, we will have uh, the group stages of at the very least the Europa Conference League. I think there's a chance that we might be able to get it, but we're going to see how we go today against the Irish. And as always, if you're enjoying this series, drop a like, leave comments, uh, and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Let's jump into it. I'm excited for this. It's going to be a close one, I think, but I'm looking forward to this. So, last episode, Olympiacos, really, really tough Champions League qualifying tie. But we actually gave a good account of ourselves, managed to get a goal, uh, but we lost 3-1 at home, and Olympiacos got a 2-0 win in Greece. So, uh, we did lose, but we put up a hell of a fight. It was a really, really brave effort by, uh, by our players, and I'm proud of them, actually. So, we dropped down to the Europa League, and we take on Bohemians, the champions of Ireland. Uh, we don't yet know who we'll get in a future round, um, that will be decided, I think, after these games. So we don't really know our fate if we go through or if we go out. But let's hope for a result against the champions of Ireland. We've already knocked out the Northern Irish champions, Linfield, in qualifying. Uh, but Ireland are actually lower in the coefficients. So this may be another win, but it's going to be close, I think. I'm looking forward to it, nonetheless. Been a bit of transfer activity. You saw last time that we brought in Luke O'Neill and Bailey Clements. We have also added Jamie Sewell, who is a striker uh, who's on loan from Lincoln City. Been on our radar for quite a while. Even back when we were at Tunbridge, we had this guy sort of scouted and we had him on a trial for a bit. And uh, he's a centre forward who's going to provide just a bit of backup to Ironside and to Dylan Borgay. So in terms of other recruitment for the transfer window, I think we could probably do with a centre back in there because Sam is our best one and he's 31 and probably playing sort of at his prime. So I think if we can find a really good cheap centre back, we'll do that. Uh, maybe a left winger. I think we're a bit light on left wing, but that should be good. And then I'm also looking for another goalkeeper because Banda is the only one we really have because our keeper that we had last season uh, did leave at the end of his contract. But anyway, let's jump into the qualifying matches then. Bohemians away from home in this first leg. We're going to start on positive. I think we will do that. And let's see if we can get the result that we want here today. Just going to go for a quick pick. And I like what it's given us. So we're going to keep it. Olivero suspended for this uh, tie. Picked up two yellow cards in both legs against Olympiacos. So uh, it's going to be a debut for Bailey Clements. He's on loan from Oldham Athletic. Hopefully he'll do well. So two legs against the champions of Ireland. Now against the Northern Irish. They had a really rotten first leg at home. And we won 4-1. Something else like that would be really nice. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. But the Irish do have a free kick here five minutes in and it just blazes over the bar. Okay, Ironside has picked up a bit of a knock, but hopefully he'll be okay. Header away there by uh, Charlesley from the set piece. And it's been all Bohemian so far. They've had the possession. And we haven't really managed to get forward at all. So we're going to, you know, going to be maybe a smash and grab here. And it might be a tough one for us. Here's Malon for Bohemians. And it's Levingston, and it's cleared by Mortons, but not too far, though. Here's Lyons. And again, I think we might need to try and force them inside, those um, attackers, and go for that uh, defensive width, Ironside to Hernandez. That's a good chance. Crankshaw's through here. I don't think he... Oh, yeah. He got the shot away, but, yeah, just didn't have as much time as he'd like, I think. I'm going to go uh, to the defensive width and force them inside, I think. Okay, about four minutes to go of the first half. Header one in the air by Bohemians. And here's Lyons. Hawks pressuring him, but it's Buckley now. Devoy to Omachere. And Bohemians keeping the ball well here. It's still nil-nil, which is a good place to be. That's a good ball, though. And it's Malon. And it's a good save in the end by Banda. We have a corner to defend now, but that's the best chance of the game so far. And he's managed to keep it out. And now the corner is also headed away by Charlesley. Here's Buckley, who's on a yellow. And it's Omachere. Good block there by... Uh, by James Morton, Devoy, and Murphy. Oh, what a block by Sammer. 
That is a huge block. Corner in by Livingston. Cornwall with their header and it's diverted in by Kian Murphy. And it is Bohemians 1, Europa nil with two minutes to go in the first half. It's been coming. The goal's been coming. I think we've done well so far to keep it at 0-0. But I think it was one was going to go in eventually. It was Livingston with a corner. Cornwall with a header. Murphy onside. And it is a goal for the Irish. Okay, we haven't looked too pressive going forward. We haven't had a shot on target. So it hasn't been the best of uh, performances. I'm going to say we're underdogs, but we can salvage a draw. But I am going to take off Ironside because he is struggling a bit up top. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go Jamie Sill. I'm going to give him a debut. Borge is good, but I don't really want to put him in this. So Sill's going to make a debut up top as the advance forward. O'Neill's not had a great game. Wassel hasn't. Sam have made a huge block uh, just before the goal. Really important defending there, and he's been good. And can we get back in this game here? I mean, avoiding defeat here in Ireland would be a good result for us as long as we could do the job at home. And here is O'Neill, and Saul, on his debut, has taken just five minutes. Oh, it's not going to count, though. Oh, no. I thought he'd scored within five minutes of a debut there. O'Neill with a cross. That looked that looks onside to me that's very very tight if that is offside but it shows we can put goals in the net or balls in the net so it shows we can do it we just need to be a bit better with our finishing i think because we've had like five or six shots but we haven't had any on target yet livingston goes long malin's going to beat the defenders to that he's not going to beat the keeper though banded does well okay i'm going to go into the instructions i'm going to work the ball into the box to try and get a bit closer to the goal and go for those shots on target. And I'm going to, again, go for an encourage. Uh, Crankshaw's a bit tired, but we'll leave him out there a bit longer. Livingston to Omachere. Again, that's a ball for Mullen. And I think the defenders have been a bit sleepy today, but another important save by Banda. O'Neill has really not done well today. Here he is on the ball with a free kick. It's Morton. Let's see what we can get from this. That's a good ball for Crankshaw. And Wilson with an important tackle, but it's straight into the path of Saul, and he does get the goal on his debut. 64th minute, Jamie Saul on his first appearance for Europa makes it Bohemians 1, Europa 1. Morton with a good ball for Crankshaw, and I thought he'd go for it. Wilson with a sliding tackle, it falls into the path of Jamie Saul, and on his Europa debut, equalises for the Gibraltarians. I'm going to take O'Neill off. He's had a really poor game. He's had a really poor game, so Bennett is going to come on there. I think uh, Crankshaw will be our final change because he is getting a bit tired. Um, if we can hold on and draw this first leg, then as long as we can win in the second leg, I actually fancy us to maybe get through this. Malon, though, has got forward quite a lot. Sorry, he was... Oh, that sucks. Did we? Did it didn't let us make the substitution? Oh, that's really annoying. He was just about to come off. He was nowhere near him either. That player definitely dived. Right, we're going to have to uh, change things up here then. Right, Charlesley's going to come off. Bennett is going to come on like he was originally before the sending off. So Hernandez is going to have to sort of control the middle by himself, as it were. Um, that's unfortunate to go down in 10 men there. Um, O'Neill, that just caps off just a really poor game for him. A 5.7 rating in the end. That's one of the worst match ratings. It probably is the worst match rating I've had so far in this save. Banda with a save and he can't hold it. <laughs> it's all the reactions. <laughs> it's, it's a corner kick. But he just dashed to get that ball. And the header was over in the end by Flinity, I think his name was. Wilson with another corner kick. 71 minutes gone. And the header is in by Kia Murphy. And it is 2-1 Bohemians. I'm going to take it off positive and go balanced. Uh, we're down to 10 men. And now I think it's just about trying to trying to hold on to this. Because if we can see the third, then that may well be tie over. But Murphy, I think, has got both goals for the Irish today. Um, but again, decent. Oh, I say decent effort. We've had one shot on target. We really haven't looked good going forward. And that, that shot on target was our equalising goal. But they just seem to be first to the ball every single time. And here's Murphy again. I think might get a hat-trick, but he's fired that over. We just seem to be second to every ball. That just seems to be the way things are going today. We'll make our final change with 10 minutes to go, and that will be uh, Crankshaw coming off. Uh, let's move Hernandez out wide, and we'll bring on the other Hernandez, I guess. Okay, about a minute or so to go. A uh, chance to maybe get an equalising goal there, but that long ball doesn't find a Europa player. 
Here's Devoy. And the last minute of injury time here. Burt's throw on goal. And that's a really good, really, good, really good finish. Liam Burt makes it 3-1 Bohemians. And we've got a hell of a job ahead of us now in the second leg. A 3-1 deficit is going to be difficult to overturn. 2-1 was probably doable. 3-1... Might be a bit bit of a stretch too far for us. We need an incredible performance in the second leg. And I don't think we're going to get it. I think defensively, uh, it's just not been good enough today. Sammer has been outstanding, but I just don't think he's been helped by the other players. Clements was okay in his debut. Russell wasn't great. You know, the red card for um, O'Neill capped off a really bad game for him. Didn't deserve the second booking. It didn't look like a foul to me. Didn't look like he was anywhere near the player. But um, yeah, did not go well here. Huh? Let's just have a look at this uh, second booking again because it did not look like Luke O'Neill was anywhere near this player. It looks like he's gone down so softly. It was Malon. He's nowhere near him if we have a look at this again. Look, he was nowhere near him. So that's a harsh second booking. Poor performance all round, really. Samer made some important stops. The cold goalkeeping was good, but um, ultimately just second best everywhere else in the pitch. Also, I think um, Jamie Saw's first goal was level if not onside that was a very tight call as well so i think we've been uh, very hard done by there and ironside oh he's out for a while ironside out for five to eight weeks with a calf injury will be five weeks and o'neill's going to be suspended as well so you know luckily we'll have olivero back for the second leg but yeah he just did not have a good game out there i think on another day uh we could have avoided defeat in that match but today was not that day and it's a 3-1 defeat which is going to be difficult to overturn at home. Okay, we have a goalkeeper, Marcel Vuzovic, who you might remember from Dulwich Hamlet back when we were at Tunbridge. Just a backup goalkeeper, although he's first choice. He's not first choice. He's not going to be first choice. Of all the goalkeepers we, we, we brought in, this one was the cheapest at 14000 and also the lowest wage, but just a backup. Hopefully we won't need him. Right, apparently we are up against it here. So I think Bohemians are a lot better than I think they are. We are going to defend with more width and go for a quick pick and see what it gives us. Olivero is back from his suspension. Bennett's back in at right back, of course, because Luke O'Neill got suspended. Ironside still injured. Sam are also suspended. So, yeah, we're in a bit of a bad way. Clements has moved to centre-back alongside Wassel. Hansen's on. I don't know if I like Hansen being on. I'm going to put Hernandez in ahead of him. Charles Lee and Morton. I'm going to swap them round. Saul did well, so we're going to keep him on up top as advanced forwards. Uh, I'm going to turn these off. I'm not going to go short on sight early crosses. We're going to just not have anything, but we're not going to work the ball into the box either. Um, right, I think that's what we go with. Um, it's going to be a tough one, but if we can overturn this, then we'll at the very least have Europa Conference League groups this season. Uh, and if we do go out here, then we've still got one more round of Europe in qualifying. So let's see if we can avenge that defeat. I think we were kind of hard done by. I think we had a goal which maybe shouldn't have been offside. We had a pretty harsh second booking. So I think, um, yeah, we were a bit hard done by to lose 3-1 in the first leg. So hopefully luck is a bit more on our side here. And we can uh, get a victory and maybe get through. We'll see. I'm going to go attacking. We need goals here. And so far, we're 32 minutes in. We haven't had a highlight, but we've had three shots on target. <laughs> really, this is the last thing we wanted. An absolute drab first half with zero highlights. That is the last thing we wanted. And it looks like Bohemians have come here just to shut up shop and defend. Because, yeah, they've managed to, to make this a very boring 45 minutes. I'm going to go for a pump fists. Can we get something from this game? We haven't seen anything in this game. We don't really know how things are going. Hawks, I've got him on a bit of a wrong row. We'll go for an inverted winger. Uh, into the second half. I'm going to go for a fire up, I think. Well, that worked. That really worked. We're on attacking. Come on, guys. A high like this game does not help us. We might be having more shots, although they've actually got a bit more possession now. Bohemians, but this is not what we wanted. And I need to go very attacking here. How has there not been a single highlight in this game? Here we go. 69 minutes gone. We've got to get three goals in 20 and a bit minutes. I don't see it happening, honestly, but that's a ball forward looking for Saul, but doesn't find him. And here's Omachera. And if Bohemians get one goal, if this goes in, it's game over. 
and it does. Kia Murphy has been the troublemaker this tie, and he scored again this time in Gibraltar to make it 4-1 an aggregate to Bohemians. And that one goal is going to be enough for them. They've completely shut us up in this second leg. Uh, we've barely been able to do our thing, and Bohemians have come here just to defend their lead, and they've done that very, very well. That's a good ball that might find Hawks. Can he do something? He's about to come off, but he's got a chance to do something here. Morton has scored. It's Europa 1, Bohemians 1 on the night, but we are still 4-2 down on aggregate. We're going to need to score another two goals to force extra time, and we have 20 minutes to do so. We're on very attacking. We are going to need a hell of a 20 minutes here, and you know what? I think we just need to absolutely go for it here. We've got 20 minutes to go. Andrew Hernandez is going to come off. And uh, Dylan Borges is going to go up top alongside Jamie Saw. We're going to go for two centre forwards there. Two advanced forwards. Charles is actually going to move to the right. I'm going to bring on Vinyas Cruz as well. So we're going with a 4-2-4 here uh, to see if we can get something. Olivero, I'm even going to push into left midfield. 74th minute. Ogbombo with the header. And here's Malin. If Bohemians get one goal, then that is game over. But we, we have no choice but to absolutely go hell for leather. In these last 20 minutes or so. Here's Bennett. He's gone long. Borge looking to win the header. But doesn't quite get there. Malon to Levingston. And a good header there by Clements. Vinyas Cruz is going the wrong way. But Banda puts it forward. Saul should win that in the air. He does. Here's Hernandez. Go on. Oh yes. This might be on you know. Anthony Hernandez. Oh come on. I, if, if this is like level or onside again, okay, yeah, he is, he is quite comfortably offside there. I mean, he has crossed. Now it's Feely to Livingston. Carver with it again here. And it's Kian Murphy, who's been an absolute nuisance. Oh, Banda. Is that going to... Okay, that's going to get disallowed. Okay, that's fine. Banda's had a bit of a nightmare there, but he's been saved. Um, again, that looked very close. Banda's really not done himself any favours in goal there, but that looked onside to me. Into the last 10 minutes. Again, we've given it a hell of a shot with this uh, second leg, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Four minutes of injury time. We are going to draw at home, but ultimately going to be a 4-2 defeat on aggregate. Two Bohemians. The Irish go through to the uh, Europa League playoff, and we're going to drop down to the Europa Conference League. Um, not good enough in the first leg, and there. I think we can be quite pleased. I think they're a lot better than I uh, thought they were, Bohemians. But yeah, we have got uh, one more round of qualifying before we... Um, oh, we have we actually have our draw. De La Gori. We, okay, we've got the Georgian side in the Europa Conference League playoff. Surely we can beat the Georgian champions. Surely we can beat the Georgian champions. Come on. Coefficient-wise, Georgia are actually 32. They're higher than Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. How have they done that? Of course, they've got the two Tbilisi sides are probably the most famous Georgian teams. Um, but recently, Dilagori, uh, the winners, and they're going to be our opponents in the Europa Conference League playoff. Initially, I think, you know, we'd actually have a good chance of getting something there. I kind of underestimated Bohemians. Don't want to do the same against Dilagori. But if we do win that tie then we will be through to the group stages of the Europa Conference League. And if we make it, then we are going to be signing a new deal until the end of the season. If we go out against Dilagori, we will be resigning after that second leg. So we'll be either resigning at the end of August or signing a new deal until the end of the season. I don't expect us to get through the Europa Conference League groups if we make it, but it's going to be a fun few games, I think. But yeah, I think I kind of underestimated Bohemians. Um, I think they were a lot better than I thought they were. I think because I saw the island were lower than Northern Ireland, I thought we might actually have a chance, but they were the better side over both legs, really. And, you know, I think we were a bit unlucky, but in the end, I think they deserve to go through. So, De Ligori in the fourth qualifying round. If we win the tie, we're into the groups. If we lose, we're going to be leaving the club. So, we'll find out next episode what happens there. But for now, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. And, uh, yeah, we are going to see uh, what happens next episode. Are we going to be leaving the club or are we going to be taking Europa into the Europa Conference League group stages? We will find out next episode. That's going to be... Uh, an important two legs next episode don't miss it but anyway that's going to do it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye